Flight is one of the most incredible achievements of humanity. Can you imagine what people in ancient times would think about flying in a jumbo jet? The truth is, we have only just begun to develop aircraft technology, and the future will be even more mind-blowing. From futuristic airships to actual flying cars, here are the most extraordinary 11 flying vehicles that will change the world. Enjoy watching. Airship. The concept of an airship is not just a simple means of transportation, but rather a gigantic air vessel that resembles a floating passenger ship in the sky. Designer McBuyers developed the airship concept as his senior design thesis at Huddersfield University. Although the design seems to come from a distant future, the idea is actually based on technologies currently being developed by commercial aviation experts in the United States. Byers mentioned that his sources of inspiration included space shuttles, Thunderbird 2, and vehicles from Star Wars. The vibrant colors of the airship aim to highlight that the electric propulsion system is completely environmentally friendly. The outward sloping windows stretching from floor to ceiling allow visitors to enjoy breathtaking views below. However, there are doubts about whether the design will be realized. Nonetheless, the idea is considered a fantastic aircraft that would forever change the travel experience. Furthermore, since space travel has already been achieved, a luxurious flying passenger ship doesn't sound so far fetched. In fact, work on this idea was already underway in the 1930s. However, the Hindenburg disaster put an end to the golden age of airships, which were considered a glamorous form of transportation. Hopefully, they won't fill the ship with hydrogen this time. Pal V, Liberty. The Pal V Liberty, the world's first commercially produced flying car, made its debut as a limited edition pioneer at the 2018 Geneva Motor Show. According to the Dutch manufacturer Pal V, the Liberty represents a milestone in aviation and transportation history while fully complying with existing laws. Only 90 units were produced of the Pioneer Edition, which features a two-tone color scheme and an additional carbon body kit. The starting price for the Pioneer Edition is 499,000 euros, excluding taxes. This price includes a range of personalization options and specific flight training sessions. Of the limited 90 units, 50 will be allocated to Europe. Following that, Pal V will commence transportation of the sport models. The Liberty Sports, a three-wheeled design, and features a foldable helicopter rotor on its roof. It operates using a gyrocopter system and is powered by two engines. The dual propulsion system is supported by two Rotax engines, one for flying and the other for driving. The motorized propeller at the back generates thrust for driving, while the large, unpowered rotor on top enables takeoff. According to Pal V, the transition from driving to flying or vice versa takes approximately 5 to 10 minutes. The mast for the rotor opens automatically, but the driver needs to detach the tail section to prepare it for flight. It certainly looks like a cool vehicle. Double flight with hover car hover car or the concept of two seater flying cars doesn't fully represent the cars we might see on the roads. While designers may have gone a bit too far in terms of extravagance, they have showcased how future cars could theoretically look. Hover car is a real flying car concept designed by Volkswagen, the world's largest automotive company. The company invited Chinese citizens to submit their ideas on how the future car should look. After sorting through over 119,000 submissions received on the project's website, three models were selected, including the hover car. Hover car is a two-seater vehicle that travels on electromagnetic road networks. It is also environmentally friendly as it produces zero emissions, meaning it doesn't release exhaust gases. It can detect other vehicles on the road while navigating through congested traffic centers in China, and its compact size makes parking easier. Automotive designers worldwide have been focusing on electromagnetic highways. A group of scientists from Stanford University is working on a real electric highway design. It may not appear very realistic at the moment, but perhaps it's not as far away as we think. Flying Yacht in 2016 
the Swiss company Hydros, with the support of Anata based in Dubai, unveiled 3 renderings of the Foilair 41, a foiling prototype. Hydros, specializing in energy efficiency for boats, had its prototype acquired by the Dubai-based company, specializing in composite structures and construction. Inada Marine incorporated Swiss technology and added its own touches, resulting in the creation of the Foilair, a flying boat. The nine, five-meter-long flying boat produced in the United Arab Emirates made its debut at the 2018 Dubai International Boat Show. According to the announcement, five models have been sold since its initial launch at the show. The foiler is powered by two 320-horsepower BMW engines and supported by a hybrid diesel-electric propulsion system adapted from automobiles. The boat can travel at a speed of 19 kilometers for 10 minutes using only electric power, accommodating seven passengers, a pilot, and can reach a top speed of 75 kilometers per hour when utilizing its foils. Airspeeder An important step has been taken in electric air racing. The Alada Aeronautics Mc3 model of the Airspeeder series recently completed its first test flight for an electric flying race car. The aircraft performed the test flight in the skies of South Australia under remote control by a pilot. The process was supervised by the country's Civil Aviation Safety Authority. The vehicle can climb up to 500 meters in altitude and reach a speed of 100 kilometers per hour in 2.8 seconds. This performance is achieved with a 320 kilowatt electric propulsion system consisting of four motors and batteries. The carbon fiber body to Lauda weighs 130 kilograms and has a lifting capacity of over 80 kilograms. Remote pilots fly in a cockpit, like environment, following virtual directions with the assistance of laser and radar technologies that help prevent collisions. The design aimed to minimize downtime. The airspeeder racer can fly for up to 15 minutes on a single charge and teams can replace the batteries in as little as 20 seconds. Alado will participate in the XA Unmanned Race Series, which will begin after 2021, and consists of three events with four teams, each with two pilots. Airspeeder will face many challenges of electric flight, including its short battery life. However, the completed test flight and the planned races have demonstrated that electric air racing is rapidly becoming practical. Of course, initially, there may be adjustments and refinements to the technology rather than pushing it to its limits. Terrafugia TFX Since the 1950s, it has been said that the invention of flying cars is very close. Despite continuous ideas and concepts, a functional flying car remained a dream. That is, until the emergence of the Terrafugia TFX concept, the model belonging to the Transition Series, which is not yet in production, was built by a Boston-based team. FX emerged as the exciting reality of our dreams for the future of transportation, unrestricted by roads and runways. The vehicle, capable of carrying four people, eliminates the need for a runway thanks to its vertical takeoff ability. Its foldable wings allow it to fit in a standard garage. Equipped with a plug, in hybrid system, the vehicle boasts an incredible power output with a 300 horsepower gasoline engine combined with a pair of electric motors. Takeoff is facilitated by a fan and a propeller located at the rear. We don't know the exact speed that TFX will achieve on the road, but once airborne, it can reach an altitude of 8,000 meters at a speed of 320 kilometers per hour. This means that it could travel from London to Geneva in less than three hours. Terrafugia acknowledged that the process of bringing the flying car into production is expected to take 8 to 12 years. The exact cost of the TFX is yet to be determined, but the company stated that the final price could be on par with today's high-end luxury cars. Nonetheless, the TFX appears to be one of the most realistic ideas to date. Flying Taxi Uber has recently started developing Uber Air, an electric and zero emission air transportation service. Uber Air is expected to usher in a new era of shared air travel. The vehicle will perform vertical takeoffs from specially designed Uber Air rooftops, 
and transport passengers approximately 600 meters above ground at speeds of around 240 kilometers per hour. The four-passenger electric vehicle is designed for air transportation. Four vertical rotors mounted on the wings of these drone-like aircraft are used for vertical takeoff and conventional takeoff landing. Forward thrust is generated by a single horizontal rotor mounted in front of the tail fin. The initial electric vehicles will be piloted, but Uber ultimately aims to offer the service with self-piloting aircraft. The aircraft is expected to reach a cruising speed of around 240 kilometers per hour and features wings that facilitate horizontal movement and ascent. In the future, it will transition to a fixed wing configuration. The fixed wing system is much more efficient and provides the electric aircraft with a range of approximately 95 kilometers per charge. Uber estimates that the average mission distance will be around 40 kilometers, and with a five-minute charge between flights, the aircraft will operate continuously for approximately three hours. Uber plans to initially launch the service in three cities, with Dallas and Los Angeles being the first two selected. The final destination city has yet to be determined. The realization of the concept is expected by 2023. Airbus Fahana Airbus Fahana is an electric, eight, rotor, vertical takeoff and landing, BTOL, personal aircraft financed by Airbus A3. The word Vahana in Sanskrit means vehicle. One of the first initiatives at A3 was the Vahana project, which started in 2016. Vahana is intended to serve as an affordable alternative to short-distance urban mass transit vehicles like cars or trains, according to A3. The creators of Vahana anticipated that there would not be enough human pilots to manage the expected volume of flights, which led to the decision to create a self-piloted aircraft. Another factor was the aim to save on increasing payload and labor costs. Unlike self-driving, flight requires management at three dimensions and much higher speeds, necessitating faster sensors and propulsion mechanisms for faster processes. Hence, cameras and radars are used with the hope of minimizing accidents in autonomous flight. The project was completed in December 2019. Following approximately 13 hours of total flight time and 138 test flights covering a distance of 903 kilometers, the final flight took place on November 14, 2019. The longest single flight duration at that time was 19 minutes and 56 seconds, and the greatest distance covered in a single flight was 5,024 kilometers. While the realization of the project is currently on hold, it does not mean that all efforts were in vain. This technology will undoubtedly have an impact on similar projects to be undertaken by major aerospace companies in the future. Lilium Jet The Lilium Jet, developed by the German aviation company Lilium Jean Eich, is an electric aircraft and the first of its kind. It recently underwent a flight test with a five-seater Lilium jet at an airport near Munich. However, according to the manufacturers, production will also include a seven-seater version. The aircraft made its debut at the same airport in May 2019. By October 2019, it had completed 100 flights and reached speeds of over 100 kilometers per hour. The aircraft is capable of controlled air maneuvers, lateral transitions, rapid takeoffs and landings, and a 25-degree horizontal turn. Electric and flight control systems prevent electric fan and wing failures. However, on February 27, 2020, a fire during maintenance completely destroyed the first prototype. Fortunately, the second prototype, which was only halfway completed, remained undamaged. After the second prototype was abandoned before completion, work began on a seven-seater prototype. This Lilium jet is designed to carry one pilot and six passengers. There are a total of 36 electric motors, 12 on each rear wing and six on the front wings. Additionally, there are 12 movable flaps located above the motors. The wings rotate downward for vertical takeoff, and as the aircraft transitions to a horizontal position, forward thrust is provided, it is said that this system is much more cost-effective than a standard helicopter rotor. SkyDrive 
flying taxis, which we often encounter in science fiction movies, are unfortunately not yet a part of our lives. Or are they? Welcome to the era of flying cars. SkyDrive is the first company to showcase a successful test flight of a flying car. The manned aircraft managed to lift off a few meters from the ground during a test. SkyDrive, a drone and robotic startup, predicts that the car will enter our lives in 2023. The company stated in a press release in Tokyo that the first manned test flight was successfully conducted and shared footage taken at their facility near the city of Toyota. The prototype of the single-seat flying vehicle, equipped with four sets of propellers, reached a height of approximately two meters in a highly secure test area. The vehicle can fly for up to 10 minutes at average speeds, exhibiting a stability similar to unmanned aerial vehicles. Cormorant Vital Wav Pereira An unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, named after the former codename of the Israel Defense Forces, is a vehicle developed by Tactical Robotics, a subsidiary of Urban Aeronautics Limited, by designer Rathi Yoeli. The vehicle will be used to rescue people from fires on the upper floors of buildings or in search and rescue operations where the use of helicopters would be too risky or challenging for police and military forces. The Defense Forces realize the need for a unique, self-flying vehicle to rescue their wounded in enemy lines after the 2006 Lebanon War. While helicopters are currently the best evacuation vehicles, they require an area without obstacles such as trees or power lines to land safely. Moreover, their chances of safely exiting conflict zones are very limited. An unmanned aerial vehicle powered by an aspirator has the advantage of being able to perform tasks with minimal constraints that helicopters can do. The vehicle can maneuver around large buildings, narrow passages, waterways, city streets, and refugee camp mazes. Its protected propellers also make it more durable than a typical helicopter. Unmanned vehicles can enter dangerous areas where helicopters cannot go. The Cormorant, for example, can transport two wounded individuals from the battlefield to the necessary medical intervention locations. What are your thoughts on these flying car concepts? What do you think we will see flying taxes? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next videos.